guess he's getting back up. Oh, shit. He fucking won't stay down. I'm running out of tea. Because my brother or cousin wanted to play the game too. 
so they actually waited for me to finish it and I appreciate it in my opinion this is the best Resident Evil game mainly because it was so fun and so good from start to finish even though this was only Leon's campaign I really didn't have any issues I really didn't have any dislikes And quite frankly, those reviewers, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. This game is excellent. Now you hear me suck the air out of my cup because I have no drink, no drink left. I really enjoyed this game. It's a fantastic game. Excellent job, Capcom. i say this one thing. Even though Capcom can be a dick sometimes with the, you know, the DLC and the... What you had to do with Dragon's Dogma, you had to keep the disc just to play the demo for this game. But one thing I can say about Capcom, among others, they know how to make a fucking game. This game is excellent. I loved it. It's, again, even though it was just Leon's campaign, maybe I'll have issues with the other campaigns, but this was fantastic. I got a little taste of what the old Resident Evil's were like, you know, with the survival horror, the zombies. It was action. It was action packed, and I like action packed games, so that's why I loved it, this game. I loved it, this game. I, that's why I love this game so much. People, people saying like IGN saying it was too much action. Too much action. It's a Resident Evil game. I'm not sure if you can have too much action for what it is. Resident Evil 5 didn't even have too much action. And that was an action based game. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, and as I said, I probably won't be able to get to Jake's and Chris's playthrough on YouTube, but I will be playing it, like, probably today, like, probably in a little bit, I'll probably start their, their uh, playthrough. But I was very, I'm very um, surprised by this game, because it was a huge hit, like, what everyone said, I don't usually listen to well, I really don't listen to uh, reviews like some of the dumbass people in this world. And if you actually listen to a review and you say, and you also thought that the game was going to be bad, you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You're stupid. You don't know anything. Because if you listen to whatever other people say, you're not going to get anything in life. I, I don't even listen to what most people tell me. If it's good or bad. If you want to play the game, play the game. Don't listen to what people say. Like this um, this article I, I read talking about Capcom and how it was trying to, how they were trying to uh, tell people, they were trying to uh, have their people make games in half the time, full games in half the time. I'm all for treating a person like a person. Like, I'm not gonna be like, I don't know, you're working, but you work a certain amount of hours, so because, because you want more production or more money, you're gonna make them work more money, more hours than they said they were or work faster and harder. We're only human. We can't, you know, process everything in like five seconds. We can't do that. We're not robots. We shouldn't be treated like robots. But the problem I had with the article was the end. They said Resident Evil 6 was coming out for the PS3, PC, and Xbox 360 October 2nd. Okay. But they also said 
they military advisors. They had military advisors in this game, probably for like off of Chris's campaign. That's pretty cool. Um, but they said if you don't support what Capcom is doing, don't buy the game. They're telling you not to buy the game. I bought the fucking game, but I also wanted people to be treated like people. I support Capcom through and through, no matter what. Why? <laughs> because I don't buy the DLC for any of the games. So I've never bought any DLC for the games that uh, they brought out. None whatsoever. So I've never had any issues with Capcom. I've been with Capcom probably since. Well, I've supported Capcom ever since Devil May Cry 1. Now, some people have been longer since Mega Man. Hey, that's fine. But, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to just say, okay, they're doing this to their people, so I'm not going to buy the game. If I've been waiting for this game ever since January, which I have, I'm not going to just flat out say, oh my god. They're treating them like robots, so I'm not going to buy the game, even though I pre-ordered it already. That's stupid. I'm not going to do that. So, thank you again for watching. That was my little rant on what's been going on with this game. And, most likely, next time I play for YouTube, I might and I might not do Chris and Jake's playthrough. Please let me know if you want me to. But most likely what I'll do is I'm going to do Ada's campaign instead of the others. I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to be a first day playthrough or I'm, it's going to be a blind playthrough. But I will be doing that. I'm going to try to do Mercenaries mode and well I am going to do Mercenaries mode. I might do it off camera and then later on I'll do it on camera like for my first few playthroughs of mercenaries mode and agent hunt I might play through it off camera we'll see but I will be doing all the campaigns and agent hunt and mercenaries mode to get a full look of the game once I finish the game completely all those modes I'll review it uh, so again Thank you so much guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I know I haven't been doing anything lately. But I'm going to try to fix that by, you know, Warner Brothers Sound or something. By uh, doing more playthroughs. Now that I've gotten uh, a few more games I could play. I think I have a few more games I could play along with the rest of these campaigns. And that's about it. So, thank you for playing and thank you for watching. So, I guess we'll wait and see if there's anything after this. If not, then we're done. That's a very long uh, outro just to show off Capcom. And there's more music. What the hell? Now what? There we go. So, holy shit! Now see showing Leon and Helena getting married. You know it's gonna happen. Ada's is gonna be his side bitch. <laughs> oh, there is more. I didn't think there was more. Helena's fine ass going to her sister's grave. Even though they didn't bury her because she's deep in the cavern. <laughs> I mean, the catacombs. Honey. Let me take responsibility. Let me turn this up so you guys can hear it. Nice ass coat, man. Thank you. Thank you.
have reviewed the evidence and feel it unjust to hold you liable for Sarah's crime. They will also not be disclosing their findings to the public. But the president would have done the same. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Shall we go join the team? We are. She kept her makeup. So the next time you see her. <laughs> what the hell is that? This nice uh music and then it's your resident with six. Trouble with women. And I did a shitty C because I died so many times. Eight skills now available for to choose from. And a dog day. Nice. Agent Hunt has now been has been added to the extra content. We're gonna leave now. So I guess all you have to do is just be one. Unless they mean you have to be all of them to to um maybe they just mean in Leon's campaign. Like Content. Oh, is there? Join other players' games as a creature. Alright, well. Dog tags. Yes, I did already upgrade my dog tag. I guess that's what people see in mercenaries mode or something. And. Okay. Alright, well. That's it. Again, see you guys later. Thanks for watching and I guess check back for more gameplay.